I swear within the next two years, I will end up going to a rave because of Vanguard Sound and Punishing Grey Raven. Today I'm going to be listening to Ademis. Fantastic. So we have some clashing piano notes. Then interestingly, we have the raindrops hitting a roof and stuff. But then you also have this real feeling of oh. So automatically, what does that tell us? Scary, worrisome, frightening, some sort of twisted character who has bad deeds in their heart. You hear that boom, boom, boom. That's the melody, but you actually have some you have some dissonance right there with multiple keys, probably seconds being played as we're climbing a boom, boom, boom. Right there too. Yum, boom, boom. Ah, horror, scary, danger. interesting introduction because it's been a minute right and we have this Hitchcock sort of like Twilight Zone sense to this where there's a lot of this stretching and a lot of this dissonance and a lot of this fear that's occurring and it boom 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 it's 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 made to make us on edge it's like a perfect horror Do you hear the, there's slight shifts occurring? So what's really interesting there too is, you know, we always have a big beat. It's almost like a fast heartbeat, right? And we understand EDM trance music. Now I'm no expert in EDM trance music, but there is this, always a sense of like forward momentum. But in this way, I think of like a horror scene. I think of the scene of a crime. There's that inherent feeling of forward momentum. And that's interesting because we're halfway through the song, about three minutes, and the whole thing is about seven minutes. We're just now starting to unravel. And this is just, I think, one phase of this entire journey. We started with the intro. Now we're in this like precursor to the main beat, main melody. Then we're going to enter into the main melody and then we're going to taper off. So I'm really curious to hear where we end up.
I'm pretty sure this is some sort of apocalyptic event. This is something that occurs that drastically changes the landscape of the world of Punishing Grey Raven. Now, I understand that that's, that's a, it's a virus and things like that, but, but there is something about this particular track that I'm it has not had a melody it's always been rhythmic propulsion and I'm sort of curious clearly there is some sort of conflict here that is very bad and evil and that's why we have these lower tones in the beat patterns we don't have a lot of high pitches here low hell high pitches heaven generally Pretty interesting too because we have this chant it's sustained so we have that chant in the beginning where it sounds almost like a liturgical and religious and then uh, more like anti-religious really but then then now we've got this and then that's what we had underneath while the chant was happening we had a sustained note sort of lifting the chant up and now we've got that in the chorus in the singers <laughs> Ooh, crunch. This is really interesting to me as a singer because it's I don't know if that's an actual uh, singer group or choir, but but there's a there's a bit of glottal. So glottal stops. It's where the air is. That's a glottal stop where the air stops in, in the chords. That's very impressive musically because it's a big wall of sound. It hits you in the face and it's like, whoa, like it feels very, very, very bad and very evil and very nefarious and up to no good and dangerous and, and all sorts of different adjectives that we would use to describe this as dark, intense, scary music. <laughs> Adenis is clearly a very bad person, a very bad event that occurs in the world of Punishing Grey Raven. 
And that music, it's interesting because it doesn't necessarily have a melody. Besides that piano, something's occurring here that is very distressful and very scary. As always, if you like this sort of stuff, feel free to like, subscribe. There's links in the about section if you want to support the channel. And as always, thanks a ton. And hey, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.